other protocols before he would proceed to cast his vote. And obviously, once uh, that is done, he will also speak to the media. Now, now that Danka Kufado uh, was chosen as flag bearer of the MPP in 2008. However, he lost that election to uh, late Professor John Evans at Mills. And then he stood again on the ticket of the MPP in the 2012 election. Uh, ahead of that election, um, the NDC had chosen Professor Mills again as their candidate. Unfortunately, he passed on in July. On July 24, 2012, President Mills passed away, and that uh, paved the way for President Muhammad to be sworn in as the acting president, as the president from July until December, uh, January 7, 2013, when he was sworn in as uh, substantive president after winning the election of 2012. Uh, Nanado and the MPP went to court to challenge the uh, results of that election. Uh, the Supreme Court decided that the election was indeed free and fair. In 2016, Nanado again represented the NPP on the ballot, and he won that election by more than one million votes and uh, has since uh, been president since uh, 7th of January 2017 until now uh, when he's seeking a second term in office as constitutionally mandated. He has every right to do so. And uh, he is currently casting his vote in Chebi, as I've already mentioned, uh, he also represented the people of Chebi in parliament. The people of uh, Ibuakwa South uh, in parliament from the year 1996 to 2008. And it's instructive to note that uh, when it comes to parliamentary history, the, MPPs, uh, the MPP is not mentioned in 1992. And that's because at the time, the presidential elections and the parliamentary elections were held on different dates. And so the presidential elections were held in November of 1992. The MPP thought that uh, some ir irregularities had taken place. Indeed, they wrote a whole book, a book that was titled The Stolen Verdict, The Stolen Verdict. And because of what they perceived to be the stolen verdict, they boycotted the uh, subsequent parliamentary elections. And that's how come uh, in the history of Ghana, you won't find MPP represented in parliament uh, in, 1990, in the 1993, the first parliament of the Fourth Republic of Ghana. Uh, but uh, subsequently, in 1996 and the other years, they have been representing, uh, uh, presenting people to be elected as members of parliament. And that's how come people like Nanado were not in parliament in 1992, but started their career as parliamentarians from 1996. So he just finished casting his vote for the parliamentary seats and um